bought them because I was doing a celebrity in a celebrity hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video should be an interesting one for a number of reasons one being that I have never done a video like this I have been wanting to for a really really long time I just kept putting it off and now here we are two I actually woke up this morning got the kids ready out the door and as I was driving around town I started to get like the auras of migraines so I started seeing lights and started seeing my hands moving in slow motion and typically when that happens I kind of take the day off because I don't want to move into a migraine but we're gonna film anyways the problem with that is when you have those symptoms of migraines it's also like your brain is processing information very slowly so I, I don't know how to explain that if you know you know but here's the thing I want to start this video with a kind of a short little story time in that um, Guys, I used to hate thrift shopping. I hated it. I hated it with every bone in my body. I hated it. It was too much going on around me. My brain is very like bullet point. I know what I want. That's what I'm gonna get. And all the excess would like send me into like a tailspin. Then things happen in life and it kind of became a hobby for me. It became a form of expression for basically nothing. I mean for cheap. And I kind of got started on this thrifting journey. I think one of the reasons I procrastinated bringing it to this channel is because I do talk a lot about minimalism and I still consider myself somebody who keeps a very minimal like environment, a very minimal surrounding. However, I enjoy thrifting and typically what that means is if I find things that I like, I will bring them in and the things that either don't serve me or I no longer enjoy, I am now selling them over on Poshmark. So if you want to follow my Poshmark closet below, I will link that below and you can follow me there. Sometimes I just find really good pieces that I can't let go of because I know that somebody else deserves to have them so I picked them up put them straight on Poshmark I was just gonna do like a collective haul of thrift items over the past few months but there was so much stuff so instead I'm going to stick to a very like fall winter themed haul and most of these items I'm obsessed with and many of them most of them I'm going to keep but sometimes I find really great items and then it just I have to be real and say I'm never gonna be able to wear these in Florida so that's this video today I've had bangs for months now and guys they are not training no matter how much I train no matter how much I do the different methods and follow my stylist's advice the bangs just won't they won't they part constantly so this is what we're dealing with. Let's just jump right into the first item. This first item is going to be hard to show on camera, but I did post a picture to Instagram because I am obsessed with it. And it is a London Fog trench coat. It is massive. This is a warm lining on the inside. I'm not going to go too in-depth in the clothing because you can see it and I'm going to insert some like B-roll. But I am obsessed with this trench coat. I love it so much and I'm so tempted to keep it. This jacket retails for $250. I have it on Poshmark I think right now for $55 for sale um, because I'm just never going to get the wear out of it in Florida but it's it's great. It's oversized. It cinches in at the waist really nicely and I love it. And if you thought I didn't love that trench coat enough, oh just you wait. I also have one in this blush pink which is also just a super delicate feminine color. It is definitely not as thick. It is not as warm as the other thrift. It doesn't have have the lining inside but this one I just consider it like I said to be more delicate it's definitely a slimmer fit it also pulls in nicely at the waist another one that I wanted to keep but I'm just not going to get anywhere out of it in Florida so if you are looking for a good trench coat I will have these up on Poshmark next you can never ever 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 go wrong with just a plain basic sweater this is a sweater from Croft and Barrow and it is so comfortable it has the perfect fit I wear it a lot to bed I wear it with skirts whenever it is going to be a little bit cool indoors and it's just a nice staple that I will definitely be holding on to for a long time I like the color I like the fit I like everything about it next we have one of my absolute favorite items and this is a denim jacket I do not like the denim look very much right now currently when it is fitted however I love the oversized 
denim look and this is actually a denim jacket from Wrangler. It is the perfect oversized fit. So I roll up the sleeves to make it a little more casual, but I think it just honestly has the perfect oversized fit. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it's nice to throw over any outfit. Next, I'm gonna throw you off of the fall scent a little bit, but we have this long maxi dress. It is a maxi, like I said, and it has spaghetti straps. The reason that I bought this is because I wanted something, again, I do live in Florida, and in Florida, we get a little bit of cold weather, but not too cold to like layer up. So I wanted something that was still very lightweight, but that I could pair with a faux leather jacket and I could put on with boots. These are really in right now. A lot of the 90s, early 2000s trends are coming back and I am finding that a style that I used to actually hate that I am now loving is wearing, you know, your more um, winter wear, your outer wear sweaters and jackets with more delicate pieces. I've even worn this dress with a band tee over top of it tied up and wore the bottom like a skirt. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this one dress. Ooh, this next piece. I had to pick it up. It is another item that I am selling on my Poshmark that I am super, super sad about. And it is this Sienna green leather jacket. Now, FYI, I would never purchase this new. I am not somebody who purchases leather because obviously I am a plant-based um, animal advocate. So I wouldn't buy this new, but I am not the person I don't want to get into that. That's a whole other, a whole other video in itself. But honestly, I saw the color and I saw the structure and I fell in love. It had nothing to do with the material. It just happened to be 100% leather, but it is a beautiful color. It is a fun item that I feel like is for somebody that, it, it, this would look so good wearing it in New York, black on black on black, a black top, black pants, black booties, and then throw this on over top. It is a beautiful fit, it is structured, and it's just an interesting find that I am so sad to get rid of it, but if you want it, it could be yours. It's beautiful, and I think I remember looking it up and the retail value is like over $100. I believe you can do the research yourself, but these are the kind of deals that when I see them, it just feels like it's too good to pass up, and I know that's not a good mindset to have, but it's just honestly the truth. I bought this next item, this skirt, with the sole intention of kind of hemming it, making it a bit shorter, and throwing it on with a sweater for the fall. It, I don't know how to do that yet. I'm learning the whole sewing thing. I have sewed before, but I've never like altered clothing. So we're gonna figure it out, but I like that again, it was kind of like a 90s, end of 90s throwback. And also the bottom of the skirt, what would you call this? Like it has a little bit of a peplum, but it's so subtle that I don't feel like it makes it childish or cheesy. So I just bought this to throw on, like I said, with a fall sweater. I think it would look really cute. I mean, you can, I've worn it with a band tee before. I just kind of roll it up. I've worn it with a sweater. It's another thing where I'm just really into the lightweight skirts paired with heavier tops at the moment. This item is nothing special, so I'm just gonna breeze through it real quick. But I buy a lot of plaid flannels. I buy a lot of plaid, I buy a lot of flannels. I buy them together. So it's just another item that is great to throw on over you know, a mom top and mom jeans or to wear basically by itself with leggings and a pair of boots. With this next item, if you go to my Poshmark closet, I have cardigans that I kept in my closet for a really long time because I felt like I needed a cardigan, but I did not love them. So the other day I actually picked up this cardigan, which it's hard to see on camera, but it is, again, just very oversized. It is um, fitted at the wrist, so the arm is bigger, the wrist is fitted. It has this nice little detail in the front, the flap in the front, and it's just a really Really, really comfortable material. It's 100% acrylic, and it's from Prinbrook Lane. Prin Pinbrook. Woo! Pinbrook Lane. I just like the color. I like the material. I like how comfy, cozy it is, and it makes me feel like I am in the winter, even though I'm not, because I live in Florida, and that sucks. But 
We wear this whenever we are indoors and we are hoping, praying, dreaming, living, dying, gagging for winter. This next sweater I got with the intention, as you can see, of cutting the neckline. This, as I wash it, is going to get a little bit more distressed. I can come in here and pick the pieces out, but I just haven't yet because I'm gonna see how it does in the wash and in the dryer. But I just cut the neckline a bit so that it can kind of slouch off of the shoulder. And it was another thing where I just, I guess I'm really into green right now I've always loved earthy tones but I'm just really into green for the fall I'm into mixing green sweaters and tops with skirts I'm just guys I'm do you understand that I am into green I'm into green but more specifically this shade like the olive green I just it's just comfy and again even if I can't get anywhere of these often out of the house I wear them to bed so am I really losing I'm still winning you be the judge. If you're catching my drift, this next item shouldn't be that big of a surprise to you. It is, you guessed it, another green sweater. However, this one is a more relaxed fit. It doesn't have any of like oversized and then fitted areas. It is just what you see is what you get. It is very comfy cozy. It does have a little tiny slit at the bottom, but obviously like I don't actually know what this brand is honestly it's just a bunch of J's and then lines like J Jill or something I have no idea but it is a large it's in this beautiful green color another I don't think I have to even tell you at this point it's just another sweater that I've been pairing just with jeans or with skirts it's comfy it's cozy it's green I love it Going to move quickly past this next item because again, it's just another plaid flannel. I like to get them in all different colors so that they pair nicely with all different outfits. If I wanna throw them over tank tops and jeans or um, I wanna tuck them into jeans and it just depends on the color shoe I'm wearing. Am I wearing an earth tone? Am I wearing black? Am I, I buy them for all, all, there's really no rhyme or reason why I buy them, honestly. However, I have been getting to a point where I'm saying no because at some point it's just a little obnoxious, but I get a lot of wear out of them. So again, who's winning? I'm winning. Next, because I'm having a migraine day, what what do we call this? It's just a simple a logo, a logo brand, a logo sweater. I can't explain to you why I picked this one up either. For some reason, it just spoke to me. I just, I liked this little, the box. And I looked it up and I guess it's a brand that is commonly sold on Amazon. I'm not sure. All I know is that I really enjoy it. It's very comfortable. It is from the brand that you see, which I guess is Trixie. And it makes me feel very like, makes me feel like I'm back in high school. Hmm. I call this my grandpa's sweater and I am obsessed with it. I am obsessed with this sweater. I love the color combination. It is a docker sweater, so it is a nice quality sweater. I wear this tucked into jeans. I wear this with leggings and boots. I wear it to bed with nothing on underneath it. So I get a lot of use out of this. It is, I am assuming going to be like my top contender for the cold weather. I love going to the thrift store and shopping in the men's section. The men always look at me like I'm invading their space, but sometimes they just have the cutest oversized items that we don't get in the female section. Down to the last two items. This is just a workout top. I am, first of all, a lover of Calvin Klein. I have said it before on this channel. I think that Calvin Klein makes the most beautiful dresses for a woman's body. Like that brand knows how to dress a woman's body. I also just really, really love texture. I love when things have a multitude of textures and that is what this shirt is. It is made out of a few different materials, but I just love how this is like a t-shirt. It's very lightweight. And then you come in here and you kind of have like the faux leather design that makes it interesting, makes it a little fun just so that I don't only have to wear it when I'm working out, but if I am, you know, walking out running errands and I wanna wear workout clothes, I actually look like I have an interesting outfit. And it's Calvin Klein. Like, you can't go wrong with Calvin Klein items. Blah, 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 blah. You cannot go wrong with Calvin Klein items. You just can't. It, they're so feminine and so interesting to look at, and I just love it. Can I just tell you that Maybe this is why I didn't do a thrift haul. It feels so weird because I'm sitting here thinking, you can see the clothes. Why am I, 
describing them to you. I don't know, but I am because that's the name of the game. But here's the last item, an item that every single woman should have in their closet. This is from New York and Company, and it is my favorite blazer. I actually bought a few over the past year, and this is the only one that has made the cut. I have kept it because I love the fit. I love to dress it up. I love to dress it down. I love to roll the sleeves up. Everybody just needs a great like a great fitting blaze, like a great blazer, but like also a great fitting blazer because I think you guys can relate to me when looking for a blazer, sometimes they're too square or the shoulders are too big or they don't cinch in the right way or they cinch in too much. This to me is just the perfect overall blazer that like I said, I dress up, I dress down. There's something in the pocket that I left in there and this is why I can never find pins because they are all in the pockets of my clothes. That's all I got for you today. We interrupt this programming to tell you guys that I forgot to show you um, two pairs of shoes. So I'm back. Hi. Guys, I only buy shoes if they are shoes that I can wear socks with. I'm kind of weird about buying shoes at the thrift store. They have to be really great quality, basically like, like new, and I have to be able to wear socks with them. Did I say socks earlier? Did I say wear shoes with shoes? Wear socks with shoes. The first pair is are the first pair are these boots and I honestly don't even know what brand these are if I'm being perfectly honest. I honestly don't know what brand this is if I'm being perfectly honest. So do you think I'm being honest? Um, these have just been really great for, again, like I said, pairing the dresses with the jackets and the sweaters and kind of balancing out a delicate outfit with something a little less delicate. Obviously, they have a heel, they're rounded at the front, and they have shoelaces. These are a bit more casual. They are my favorite. They are my most worn boot. And then the next pair, to be honest with you, gosh darn it, why can't I stop saying that? I only bought them because I was doing a celebrity in a celebrity I only bought them because I was doing a celebrity inspired lookbook and it is these boots right here. Again, I don't even know the brand. I should have prepared myself. These are Gianni Bini, Benny, Gianni Benny. I only bought them for a celebrity lookbook. I do wear them and I enjoy them. It's just that the toe is a little pointy for my liking and also the heel is a little, um, I don't know, I don't love it. I just love it a little bit thicker or I love it a little bit thinner and it's kind of in the middle there. However, that being said, I do still wear them, which is why I wanted to show them because I do get use out of them. I try not to, even when I am doing celebrity and style, I give up. Even when I am doing celebrity inspired lookbooks, I still only try to buy items that I'm actually going to wear. So that is that. Bye. Again, these are all fall items. I have a ton of like summery spring transition into fall items. If you guys would like to see that video, please comment down below and let me know. And let me know if you enjoy these videos. I also want to do a like celebrity thrift flip, would that be called? Because I have a few items that I bought for the sole purpose of matching them to celebrity street style. So let me know if you guys want to see that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!